Calendar in Excel, I will show you how. First, we will create a table of seven columns and eight rows. We will add a border. Then we will adjust the six rows for the dates. Let's adjust the column as well. We merge the four cells for the month. We merge the three cells for the year. Then we type Sunday for the top label and drag the cell to fill in until Saturday. And we the center justified it. Let's highlight the first and the last column to determine the Sunday and Saturday. We need to make sure that the input months are correct. We will create a list of months to be used in the drop-down list. By typing only January, then we drag it until we create it until December. Select the cell B2, then go to Data Validation or Alt-AVV. Under Settings, select List from the Allowance Source is the range of months that we have just created. Uncheck the Ignore blank, then click the OK button. Now you can see the list of only valid months. Go to cell F2 and type in the year. Increase the fonts on cell B2 and F2 properly to highlight the month and the year. On cell F4, type in this formula and press the Enter key. It will fill in six rows and seven columns in sequence of weekdays. Then highlight the range and press Control-1 to open the custom format. Under Custom, type in small letter D to show only the day and the date format, then hit the OK button. Let's make it left justified. Now we wanted to hide the dates that do not belong to the month, so we will open up the conditional formatting, select New Rule, then select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Enter this formula. Then in the format, let's make the color to gray. Then click the OK button. Congratulations, you have now created a calendar.